How you doing, everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. I uh, got my Bar Z Summer Bash T-shirt came. I survived, and uh, <coughs> I think uh, <coughs> excuse me. I think Stan was uh, very had had a lot of foresight there uh, about being about survival at Stan's uh, during the bash. Uh, the heat was brutal, so. Uh, I was uh, very happy to have survived. I know we had one not one uh, 911 call there, uh, one gentleman, and uh, uh, I hope Dale is feeling better. And uh, he had a tough time with the heat there. So uh, I know it was pretty, pretty dang hot. I'm not sure what it was, but it was, I think somebody said it was 107 inside Stan's shop. Uh, so it was hot. I was out in the sun a lot, and uh, it was very hot out there. Anyway, thanks, Dan, uh, for uh, putting on the bash again. It was uh, just tremendous fun. I I hope uh, people who didn't who couldn't make it can make it next year. Be I'd be super, and uh, it's just so fun to be able to talk to the viewers and and meet everybody. Uh, I know uh, James Kilroy just did his did a video on the bash, and uh, uh, I I have the same sentiments uh, kind of as James is, you know. Uh, he was talking about uh, the viewer thing and and uh, how uh, you guys uh, seem to know us, but we don't know you. And uh, in 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 the in the more personal sense, you know, through the videos, you know, so we don't we don't get to see you. We see your names or you com if you comment and things like that. Uh, uh, it's a it's a it's quite the ex different experience. People come up to you and say hi, and it's it's like. A, uh, he was saying like a, like a reunion thing, you know, uh, so uh, where you haven't seen somebody in a long time. Uh, I mean, I get I have the same feelings. I mean, I never met James Kilroy before. I've talked to him on the phone, and uh, we've worked together on a couple projects and things like that. But I uh, never met him. Um, uh, Adam talked to him on the phone. Never met him. Um, uh, who else? I mean, I've met a lot of. I I probably one person who's met a lot more. Uh, YouTube contributors than, than some of the others because uh, uh, I've, I've done some traveling and uh, I've gone around and met people and been in their shops and see what they do. So, uh, and it was really nice to have Don uh, make the trip down and gave him a break and come and spend a night, a couple nights here at our, our house and, and everything. So it was, uh, and I had met Don earlier this summer and I've been to his shop. So, uh, but it, it, you get this uh, funny feeling and, and uh, it, it makes it uh, fun to talk to viewers and, and see what they think about things and, and get ideas from them, uh, you know, for projects or you talk about past projects, talk about YouTube, uh, all those things. Uh, so uh, I, I'm, I'm with James on how all that is and, and the feelings and everything. It's, it's, a, it's just a fun, fun thing to do. So thanks again for everybody who did come, and, and hopefully more people can make it next year. Uh, you know, uh, also a few things about what James Kilroy said. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, sometimes I have a note, like right now I do. I have a couple, wrote down a couple of notes on things I want to talk about real quick. And, uh, but, you know, everything else is just off the cuff. Uh, I don't have a script or... Anything like that, uh, uh, I'm doing stuff here in my shop, and I, these are the things that I do all the time. I've been doing this stuff for, in my shop for, for uh, since I built this shop. And, well, actually before that even, but uh, I've always been really busy. Uh, when I was, I used to work two months on, two months off, basically. And so I had a lot of home time, and over the years and so uh, I you know built my shop in 86 and uh, you know ever since then my shop's been a busy place uh, so I it's just that you know when Chuck Bomarito finally he talked me into doing videos and uh, that's what kicked it all off and I thank Chuck for doing that because I, I enjoy this tremendously uh, being able to show the stuff I'm doing in my shop and like I said uh, so, you know, some of these projects have actually been spurned on by viewers uh, so uh, I can't do all the projects somebody might suggest uh, as far as viewers go uh, you know suggesting things but there are things that I, I do do 
because of viewers have mentioned them or brought them up. Uh, I'm working on one now. I've been working on it for uh, months uh, uh, with designing and uh, getting parts and everything. Um, I haven't filmed anything on it yet, but uh, I'm pretty subtle on my design. So, but it was it was spurred on by a viewer. Uh, so, um, we'll be getting to that anyway. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Uh, also, I want to mention the sponsors again for Stan's Bash, and I I can't find the list that Stan gave me of all the sponsors. Uh, but off the top of my head, I, I you know there's a few. You know, KBC Tools. Uh, Empire Abrasives, Anchor Lube, Traverse Tools, MSC and the Inco, uh, Bob's Flags, Banners and Signs, and Stanridge Granite. You know, these are just some of uh, the contributors of raffle prizes and door prizes and things like that. Um, a lot of the YouTube contributors also donated things. You know, uh, Keith Fenner, uh, uh, Basement Shop Guy. And that guy, I tell you, I don't know if he ever gets out of his basement much. Brad's a little different. He's in that basement a lot, I think. Nice guy, but, you know, there's still a basement thing going there. So maybe he'll get out more. Love you, Brad. Brad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kind of poking at him a little bit. Uh, we, we're, we've gotten into the poking thing a little bit. So, anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of you contributed uh, things uh, for the to help support Stan and, and his bash. So thanks everybody for doing that. Anyway, uh, a couple things. Um, my t-shirt got, <laughs> my t-shirt campaign got reinitiated by Teespring. Uh, enough people had ordered after the camp, the initial campaign. And so they reinitiated the campaign because enough were ordered to print. And uh, so if you want one, go to Teespring. Randy Richard um, in the shop, but it's uh, oh, the campaign is uh, I'll put the link up. It's a rally round Randy Richard in the shop or RR in the shop. So I'll put the link up if you're interested in a t shirt. Uh, go for it. You have until the end of the month, roughly. I think the 30th. Um, uh, the X Carve. This is this video is going to be really about the X Carve. Uh, uh, a viewer, uh, Lockcracker Phil, uh, Phil from back east, uh, sent me a DeWalt 611 trim router. That's one of the up, spindle upgrades you can do to the X-Carve. X-Carve makes, or Inventables, they make a spindle mount for that router. Uh, he sent me one, and we're going to we're gonna get that installed on the machine. Uh, so that's uh, what this video is really going to be about. I, I've done a, uh, if you saw Don Cossett's, uh, uh, latest video. I tried doing a little bit of engraving with metal. I've done positive negative with wood a little bit and um, the from what I everybody reading all everybody's comments about it, uh, the X carve uh, you know they say put a put the trim router on it works way better you can go faster and things like that. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna see how it all goes there. Also uh, also I'm thinking of do it after I did that, do a little bit of engraving. I did not film that, but uh, it came out okay. Um, I sent a few things to Don. Uh, I had his logo in, in the computer, so I was able to play with that and do that. It was a fun little project, uh, using that, doing different materials and stuff, um, and different ways to, to do it. And I think, uh, I think the, uh, I think an engraving pen would probably work better uh, for doing that sort of thing. And so I really. I'm going to look into getting a pneumatic one or an electric one. I'm not sure what. I've never used one before. So I don't, I'm not sure which way to go. If you have any ideas, uh, you know, send me an idea. Uh, which, uh, what you guys think on engraving pens, pneumatic or electric, what brand or anything like that. I'm going to look into that and then uh, make a mount so it goes on there and try one of those out on there. I think for engraving, this machine would actually do a really good job. Uh, it, it just the, the tooling itself needs to be right, I think. So I want to do that. Uh, so anyway, that's my list. <laughs> and uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, check out the t-shirts. Uh, I've uh, my dovetail cutters. I'm, 
I've had enough people uh, request more. I've pretty much uh, sold all the ones that I had made in the first batch. So uh, in the coming uh, week or so, I'm going to be making up some. I'm going to even make some metric ones, uh, metric uh, shanked ones, I should say, uh, 16 millimeter. Uh, I've had some requests from Australia for a couple guys, and uh, so we're going to, I'm going to make a few of those also. So yeah, if you're interested in a dovetail cutter, email me. Uh, that's the best way. Or uh, do a personal message thing through YouTube. That works also. And we can, uh, I'll let you know on those. So, uh, if you're interested. So, but thank you guys for every, your, all your support, though. Uh, that's a tremendous help uh, to help fund the channel here a little bit. Uh, so, I, I, do, I do really appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you, everybody. Anyway, so let's go on uh, and uh, change this motor uh, spindle out on the X-Car. Over here on the S-car, and we're going to uh, get started here. Uh, we're going to install the uh, DeWalt 611 uh, trim router on here. I got the mount. I think I showed you that before. And uh, it's going to replace the entire motor mount here. This is the th their 300 watt uh, spindle motor. DC and we're going to replace this whole thing it, so I got to remove all the all the wheels and install them on here and reattach it to the block and reinstall it on there so we're going to that's what we're going to do uh, get this off of there and we'll get the motor in there so I'll bring you in nice and close as we do that so I have the power uh, disconnected on the unit plugged unplugged and I've already disconnected the power leads for the uh, motor off the terminal block. So we're going to loosen everything up uh, so we can get this. Uh, we only really have to loosen these right off, the uh, eccentric ones. Get those loosened so they uh, open up. There's not enough room in here for the Allen wrench to get on the end of that, so you got to lower it way down to the bottom and to get it all the way down there so you can uh, get to the head of the screw. I need to make a crank handle. I want to make a cover and a crank handle for this. But every once in a while you need to turn this, and it's kind of a pain uh, doing it by hand. So the problem with using a nut for this uh, locking the way they did this, I might have to double nut that, actually. Get that off of there. So you can get to those other screws. There we go. Now we'll, we'll strip all these pulleys off and put them on the uh, on the new one.
Yeah, that's it with that. That's going to go right on there, just like the other one came off. Comes with the mounting screws for it. Uh, they're a little bit longer through the box, through the plate here. So those mounting screws are a little bit bigger, a little longer. And they pull these uh, the wheels. They all go in the same same side relationship. Dropping everything today. These are the eccentric nut nutted ones. So we might to make sure that they are what they call open, so they're out as far as they'll go. So you can uh, slip them on there, but I think we'll have to leave this one a little, these a little looser than that, so we can slip it on easily. Just leave them loose, and we should be able to wiggle that up on there, just like that. Then we'll slip the screws in the block. Bring that over a little. That's a Delrin block, so you you know you can strip those out, so be careful with them. Now we'll get the uh, pulleys uh, set up on here. Now we'll bring it down so we can get that Allen wrench in there. Remove all the play, but you still want to be able to turn that with your fingers. Then we'll bring it up high enough so I can get the Allen wrench in up for the top one. Okay, that should work. So that's mounted. Now we, I've got these screws already started. But we need to, this is a little snug, so we need to, uh, I want that cord to go out the back. That's the uh, spindle lock button right there. So probably going to have that spindle lock button below so we can get to it. I think, uh, we're going to end up with a cord off to the side so it doesn't hit anything. And we're going to open that up a little bit. Let's see if we can just, uh, Just a little twist, just put the screwdriver in there, give it a little twist. Okay. So, it doesn't want to clear that. 
Okay, I turned it around so the switch is right here on the router and the speed control. I could have it here or here. So I decided over here. It will just clear here, but you know, it really probably will never have to really go this high, even though that's still not to the limit switch yet, okay? So, uh, not sure what I might do, but, but, I, I, but it does clear, and it just barely clears, just so you know. Uh, you have to get it just turned just right. Now, a little knife trim on the plastic, in a couple little spots, then it's no, and it would be no big deal. And I'll probably just, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just trim that a little bit. So then it will reach, there's the limit switch type thing. So we'll just kind of trim that a little bit and it'll be fine. And the button for the, which is on this side, the bottom uh, for the, uh, spindle lock is is out enough so you can get to it and we just we'll just put these screws in and get this locked locked in place now to get that in there I just kind of just twist put the screwdriver in and gave it a little twist to open it up a little just so it would slip in real easy And now this is going to be an AC motor, so you'll have to have a plug and control it by hand, at least for now. Now, there uh, some people have come up with a little mod, and, and uh, I'm probably going to do that with a solid state relay and use the 12 volt signal that goes to the motor as a trigger uh, for uh, to switch it a solid state relay to turn it on and off the motor. So I'm probably going to come up with something there whether I buy something or um, build one myself. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I have. <laughs> seems to work and uh, we'll have to get something mounted up here and here and get something carved all right so that's the uh, install of that and uh, we'll get something carving <laughs>